Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how you and your students can translate all of the Google Meet menus, captions, and chat into another language in real time. Google Meet has done a great job of connecting people from across town or around the world. However, what if the person you're connecting with speaks a different language? It turns out that Google Meet has a built-in option to translate in real time. The Google Meet menus, the chat conversations, and the live closed captions. This can be especially helpful for students who do not speak English as their primary language. Let's take a look at how this works. First, we will create a Google Meet or join a Google Meet just like normal. Usually, I would have other people in the Meet with me, but for this example, it'll just be me. Once we're in the Meet, we can turn on the live translation by doing the following. Simply take your mouse and right-click anywhere inside of the Google Meet window. Then, from the pop-up menu that appears, choose Translate to English. Let's give that a click. Once we do this, we will now get an icon on the far right-hand side of our URL bar, which is the Google icon for Translate This Page. When we click on the Translate This Page icon, we'll get a drop-down menu that shows the language that the page is currently being displayed in. To change the language, we will click on the three dots button in the drop-down menu, and then select Choose Another Language from that menu. We will now get a drop-down menu where we can select which language we wish to translate all of the content into. We can simply scroll through this very large list of languages to make our selection. In this case, I'll choose Spanish. Once we have selected our language to translate into, we can just click the Translate button to finish the process. Let's do that now. Now, all content in the Google Meet window will be translated into the language we chose. This includes at least three main features. One being the menu, two being the chat, and three being the closed captions. First, let's take a look at the menus. For all of the menus and descriptions and buttons, we will now see that those have been translated into the language that we have chosen. Secondly, let's take a look at the chat. We'll open up the chat feature as normal by clicking on the chat button in the top right hand corner. The translation also works inside of this chat feature in Google Meet. No matter what language anyone uses to type in their text, the text will automatically be translated into the language we have chosen when viewing it in the panel, such as in this example here. Third, and finally, the translation will also be applied to the live closed captioning of whatever anyone is saying in the Google Meet. To see this, we'll click on the Close Caption button in the bottom right-hand corner of the Google Meet screen as normal. Now, whenever anyone in Google Meet speaks, their words will appear as live closed captions at the bottom of the screen, but will additionally be translated into the language that we have chosen. Now, when you leave your Google Meet, the translation feature will automatically be turned off. However, you can turn it back on the next time you join a Google Meet by doing the same steps as before. Simply right-click anywhere inside of the Meet window and choose the translation option. Of course, you can also select a new language from the Translate This Page icon, just like before, by clicking on the three dots, choosing the Choose Another Language option, and then selecting the language you wish to go to. In this case, I'll switch it back to English. Although this translation feature can be very useful for someone who does not speak English as a primary language, it can also be very helpful for an English speaker when communicating with a non-English speaker. Simply turn on the feature by right-clicking anywhere in the Google Meet screen and then choosing Translate to English from the drop-down menu. 
Now, anything that is spoken will be translated automatically in the live closed captions, or anything that is typed into the chat will be translated into English regardless of the language it was typed in. And that's it. That's how you and your students can translate the Google Meet menus, chat, and closed captions into any language of your choice. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meet videos.